guys, what up? It's Ita Rishi back here with another video, and yeah, I've come up with a new PC build for 1.2 lakhs. If you have that kind of money, you're in luck, cause people wanted to see a 1.2 lakh PC build. And due to the request from my friend, I shaved. And yeah, yeah, let's get right to it. So starting off with the build, since people wanted to see a Ryzen build with the new Ryzen lineup of processors, I thought okay, it'll be fun to do a Ryzen build. So I went with the AMD R7 7700. This is a great processor as it's only for 25,000 rupees, which is like insane value and much cheaper than the i7 7700K. This has eight cores and 16 threads and all the latest technology and all that. If you want to know more about Ryzen, I'll link a tech quickie video down in the description below. The motherboard situation in the AMD lineup is a little bit interesting. I went for the B350 ASUS Prime motherboard since it's like red and black and looks really cool. The only motherboard that I personally like and has good aesthetics has USB 3.1 and all that good stuff. I was originally planning to go for the Gigabyte B350 motherboard, but that was out of stock, so I went for this one. Yeah, since this doesn't have enough fan headers like chassis fan connectors for this PC build, I added a deep cool fan hub, which is like only 500 bucks. So yeah. So for the RAM, I went with the Corsair Vengeance LED RAM, red LED, 16 gigabyte kit, which is 3000 megahertz. Right now, Ryzen isn't doing that, you know, like cooperating well with the higher speed RAM, so. Most probably you'll be running your RAM at 2133 megahertz, or if you're in luck, 2666 megahertz. For the power supply, I went for the Coolmaster G6 GX2 650 watt power supply, which is 80 plus bronze and all that good stuff. And this is a decent power supply for the budget, and it had uh, all black cable. Aesthetics department is going to be really nice. The storage for this PC build was an interesting aspect of this build since we had enough budget to play around with. So I went for the Samsung N6. 961 NVMe SSD. Damn fast. Uh, read speeds are up to 2 gigabytes per second, and write speeds are up to like 1.3 gigabytes per second. So that's like insane amount of speed. It has a green PCB and all that, but that's okay. For the hard drive, I went. I for the hard drive, I went for the Seagate 2 terabyte Barracuda hard drive, which is like decent enough. For the case for this build, I wanted it. I wanted it to be like black and red and look really nice. I went for the NZXT S340 mid tower case, the glossy red and black version. Since it's a decent looking case, it looks amazing in fact. Okay, so for cooling the CPU, since there aren't that many coolers for AM4 platform with the AM4 bracket and all that, the Cooler Master Liquid 240 CPU cooler, which is like damn cool and it's compatible with the AM4 motherboard platforms. Now for the graphics card, as you probably guessed, I went for the Zotac GTX. 1070s every other 1.2 lakh PC build, but hey, this is a Zotac version and it comes with three free games. Yay! And to spice up the build a little bit more, and since it's 2017, I went for the deep cool RGB LED strip, so it's like all fancy and all that. So okay, so now for just 5,000 rupees more or 6,000 rupees, you can get an amazing PC build. Will be much more different than the other PC because I didn't want to make this another like. Same old boring PC build like every other 1.2 like PC build. Keeping the same CPU, motherboard, power supply and LED strip for that RGB goodness. We are replacing the cooler with the Cooler Master 120mm liquid cooler which is a little bit cheaper. We are going for the 256GB SSD from Adata and we are going for the Seagate Barracuda 1TB hard drive since yeah. yeah. And we are going a little bit cheaper on the case. Not cheap in the sense like in build quality or anything. Corsair Carbide Series 270R, which is amazing. It still has a power supply shroud. The only thing that is weird about the case is that the I.O. is on the right side of the case. So for the graphics card for this build, I'm going with the GTX 1080 MSI Armor Edition. That is what I wanted different. I wanted a 1080 in a 1.2 lakh PC build, but I was thinking if you're spending this much money on a PC, you would rather put 5,000 more rupees and get a decent uh, GPU. I'm going for using the LED RAM. I thought, okay, let's cut the budget a little bit more so that we can save up for the graphics card. And I went for the 16 GB Corsair Vengeance LPX kit, which is in red, so yeah, should be fine. So tell me what you guys thought about my PC build for the 1.2 lakh PC build and the 1.24 lakh PC build. And tell me what you thought about it, whether you liked it, disliked it. There'll be another poll in the 
cards above here. Uh, so, so you can vote for the next PC build, which budget do you want to see? I'll I will be doing the 56,000 full setup PC build, including monitor, keyboard, and mouse, and all that stuff. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe here. You can watch my recent video here, which is kind of funny, I guess. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.